Hi, 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 hi. <laughs> Welcome to Supernatural Parenting with Patty and, oh, <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. Are you offended? No. I, I, yeah, that was not a good <laughs> move on my part. I'm sorry, sorry. Please don't be offended. This is sorry. Supernatural Parenting with Patty and Zari, my partner, and we are here to inform you that you can be supernatural and you can raise supernatural children. So that is the goal of this show, to inform you and give you all these free materials so that you can raise supers. Yes, by the power of the Holy Spirit. The power. <laughs> is with me today. I'm offending myself. Okay, so here's my topic today. My topic is discernment versus offense. Discernment versus offense. Okay, think about that. I have some verses for you. Discernment is a spiritual gift. And in Corinthians, they're talking about Corinthians 12, 1 Corinthians 12, 10. Okay, they're instructing people on spiritual gifts. And it says, to one I give this gift, to one I give this, to another I give this gift. And it says right in the middle of there, it says, to another, the ability to distinguish between spirits. To distinguish between spirits. And they, um, God gave this ability to the power of his Holy Spirit. So you would know if this person is speaking from God or if he is speaking from the enemy or just the flesh. So you can access this ability to distinguish between spirits by calling on the power of the Holy Spirit. Who is in you? He's in you. He wants to do that. I'm oh, sorry. I'm oh, sorry. Am I offending you? Okay. Speaking of offense, I want to, um, oh, let me read one more verse. John 4, 1. Beloved, do not believe every spirit but test the spirit to see whether they are from God. So you're supposed to actually give them a test, right? Okay, so this has to do with discernment. And you need this. You need this for your kids. You need to see what movies are coming in the house. You need to see what friends are over. You need to see who's involved in what, what books they're reading. You need to discern, absolutely. And once you learn that, you can teach your kids to discern. To discern, to discern, discern like what's from God and what's not from God, right? We want that. We want that for our kids. Okay, so here is the definition of offense. So the dictionary, dictionary definition of offense. Okay, this is one. There's many definitions, but one of the definitions is to be displeasing, disagreeable, or repugnant to. Displeasing, disagreeable, or repugnant to. So that is offense. And I'm here to tell you there is a difference between what the Bible says about discerning spirits or what the dictionary talks about offense, what offense is. When I was younger, a younger Christian, and I would listen to preachers, or I'd be turning the television station, and all of a sudden I come across this pastor, and I'm like, what? He has his hair parted, and there's that side comb over, and then he's yelling up in the camera, and then he's telling me to give what? No. And right away, I was, I was, what was I? I was offended. I was displeased, disagreeable, and repugnant. <laughs> I was like, no, you, no, you don't. Or I'd be like listening to a preacher and, and I didn't like his accent. Or this woman was like really bold and how she'd be telling me what to do. No. And besides, she has pink hair. Okay, so I'm here to tell you, I thought I was being discerning, but I was not. I was being offended. And I am wrong, 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 wrong. I was wrong. And I'm wrong when I do that still. And I try to watch that. So if there's any of you pastors that I was offended at when I was young, 
um, I apologize for that because, yeah, you were delivering a message. I wasn't able to hear the message because I couldn't get through the offense. And I discovered that the enemy does not want me to get a message from God. So he puts a strong offense on a person who's going to deliver a message of love, honor, respect, trust, giving all of those principles of the Bible that are going to make me so successful. And I was buying into all that offense, thinking it was discernment. Well, the Bible says, know the truth and the truth will set you free. So I wanted to know the truth. So anytime I caught myself offended at a pastor, a man of God, and by the way, they were all offended at the prophets in the Old Testament, in the Bible, in the New Testament. They were offended at Jesus. They say he had a demon. What? <laughs> and oh, the works of the Holy Spirit in Acts? Mm-hmm. They were totally offended. Am I offending you? <laughs> Am I offending you? If I'm offending you, I apologize. However, there might be something in this for you because you need to know the difference. There's things you need to steer away from and you need to let it in your house. For example, I was watching stuff in the house on the television, my kid upstairs asleep, and I didn't know I was inviting other spirits into the house. It's like all of a sudden then I see my child do something and it's like, what? She's watching what on TV? And it's like, well, I left that in the house myself. So that's why we have to distinguish the spirits so that we can sh be strong, so we can set the standard and let the Holy Spirit in the house. Kick those demons out and replace with the Holy Spirit of God and Jesus. Okay, so my power burst. My power burst is don't be offended by the messenger of God but receive the defensive strategies against the enemy. Don't be offended by the messenger of God, but receive the defensive strategies against the enemy. Yeah, that's a power. That's powerful. If you can get that, dude, totally, your life will be changed, right? Okay, so now the, don't be offended at me, but, Yes, I do do this with my hair a bit. I apologize. I'm just as weird as some of those prophets were in the Bible. But I, this is my birthday month, right? I love October. I love it. I love it. I'm almost as much as Christmas. Christmas is first because that's about Jesus. And then it's October for me because it's my birthday month. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Okay, so I'm going to tell you what you can do for me for my birthday. You're like, oh, what? Now I'm getting offended. <laughs> so like, excuse me. Did I offend you? Did I just offend? I apologize. It's all up to you. I mean, you know, the Bible does say if you, if you bless the man or woman of God, you'll be blessed. So I'm just giving you the opportunity to bless me. There are just simple ways you could bless me. Okay, so um, I have this book called 10 Powerful Tips for Training Unstoppable Children. And you can find it on Zari's website. Can you see here? You just go to zwritewords.com and you can purchase my book there. I appreciate it. That would be a great happy birthday gift for me. Like it, love it, use it. If you ain't going to use it, don't purchase it. There are other things you can do. For example, Zari and I have made a Supernatural Parenting with Patty and Zari Facebook page. You can like that. You can share that. God Tube videos. YouTube videos, and Spreaker Red Web Radio. Like, share, listen, live. Oh, wow, that would be amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you to anybody who's done that already and even at thinking about doing it. And I'm like, yes. Okay, you could also follow us on Twitter at Patty and Zari, and A-N-D Zari, 
and Gmail, pattyanzari.com. So these are just some of the things that you could do for my birthday. You could also donate to Zari because she is the one that puts together all this amazing, fabulous, free stuff for our ministry. And I, I really appreciate you. Zari and I honor you. We respect you, especially guys that might listen to us girly people doing stuff. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And for the women, we love you. Okay. I will see you on the next video with Patty and Zari. Bye. Have a nice day.